So you've gotten a new puppy, now what? Today I'm gonna go over some things you need to know, plus two things you can start teaching instantly. This episode is sponsored by PetFlow. Click thumbs up for Bruno the Golden Doodle. And if you have a new dog, subscribe to my channel right now. It's free and you'll be glad you did. I'm really, really excited about my new book, Dog Training Revolution. For the first time, I've compiled everything that you need to know to raise the best dog possible. It makes the perfect companion for my YouTube series. I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can go and pick up your copy today. Naturally, your puppy has to eat, which means you gotta pick out a really good quality dog food for them. Now, Every dog has unique dietary requirements. That's why PetFlow has all of the brands. Choose your dog's favorite brand of dog food and how often you want it to be delivered and you never have to remember to order your dog's food again. I'll have a special link and a coupon code in the description of this video that will give you 20% off of your first auto ship order. Now let's go talk to Brittany and find out what's going on with Bruno. Brittany, why did you decide to bring a new puppy into your life right now? Well, we both already had two cats and we've always wanted a dog, so this was just good timing in our lives. So how's he been adjusting in his first few days at home with you so far? I think that he's been adjusting really well. In the beginning, he would kind of stay with us at all the time. He'd only stay in the front room, but as the days go on, he just sort of runs around the house and is getting more active with the cats and he's being bolder and more curious. So we think he's doing very well. I'm really excited to work with Bruno and he seems like he's ready to get going too. Would you mind if I worked with him for a little bit? Of course, sure. When you first bring your new puppy or dog home, don't throw too much on them at one time. In other words, many dogs need some time to adjust. Since a strong relationship with your dog is essential, prioritize growing your bond with your dog as everything will be built on top of this. Whatever your dog's circumstances, circumstances, try to understand things from their perspective. Now, in Bruno's case, this is his very first time being away from his mom and his litter mates, so he needs some serious patience and understanding. It's gonna take months for your dog to take in this world, learn our language, and understand how we expect them to behave. Keep that at the front of your mind during that first year of training. If you have a young puppy like Bruno, they're still rapidly developing too. Watch out for those teeth. This puppy biting catches a lot of people off guard. If you need help getting through the puppy biting stage with your dog, I'm gonna have a video in the description of this video. One of the first things you'll wanna do is teach your new dog their name so that they can begin to understand that it's their attention we want when we call them by their name. Bruno, come here. See, it's not working yet. So the first thing you wanna do is just get your dog's attention on you, maybe by making a little bit of a sound like, Yes, good job. Right there, I'm going to reward Bruno simply because he acknowledged me, but obviously I don't wanna to have to name him we want him to understand what Bruno means. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm going to introduce his name. Bruno, yes, good job. Bruno, you have to be very deliberate when teaching your dog a new word, a new phrase, or something like their name. See, when he acknowledged me there, I said his name so that he can begin to connect his name with paying attention to me. And I'm also right there to make sure that I offer him something amazing like this turkey in order to make an impactful, memorable experience for him. And right now that he's jumping on me, I'm not even concerned with that. The fact that he's paying attention to me and responding to his name is far more important. Bruno. Yes, oh, did you see his eyes just snap up to me when I said his name right there? He's doing really well really quickly on this. Since when you're with your dog at this age, they're definitely in a supervised situation, you'll have lots of opportunities to reward them for giving you their attention voluntarily or when you call their name. Really take advantage of this, catch them off guard as often as you can and reward them heavily when they stop what they're doing to pay attention to you or respond to their name. Now I'm walking around here just to try and mix things up a little bit so that he starts to generalize that I still want him responding to Bruno when I'm walking around, when we're outside and so on. So it's important to practice these things before you expect them to associate these behaviors in general everyday life. If you've gotten a new puppy, you're probably gonna to wanna to teach them how to sit pretty early on. Many dogs will do this pretty instinctively, but the idea is that you can teach them how to sit specifically when you ask them to do so. Sit is so important because you're gonna ask them to do this time and time again. So it's worth putting in the time right now to get it looking really good. It's easiest to teach your dog sit by luring them into position. You really wanna use that nose and a really good currency like real turkey or real chicken to your advantage. But think of your dog's nose and the tree 
street that you're using as two separate magnets. At first, that magnetic attraction between their nose and the treat is kind of loose. If you keep the treat really close to his nose, then it's much more likely to keep his attention. See this? Look how close that is. You have to go in really slow motion if you haven't done this before. Most people tend to go too fast like this, but really what you wanna do is go super, super slow. Look at that, see that sit. This time, I'm going to introduce the word sit to him as he sits. Yes, sit. Most dogs are gonna pick up on this really fast, so you should be able to start phasing out the lure pretty quickly on something like sit anyway. So watch this. Sit, good job. See, he anticipated because we practiced several times in a row. Bruno, yes, good. Gave me his attention when I called his name, sit. Hey, that looks really good. Let's go for some bonus content now and see if we can teach Bruno how to lie down. Sit, good. Again, we're gonna do the same exact thing, and we're gonna go nice and slow, just like this. Yes, I'm gonna reward there simply because he moved his front foot forward. I'm not gonna insist that he does a complete lie down immediately. And I'm rewarding for progress. That's the most important thing. Don't be so greedy when you're introducing new behaviors. Yes. Excellent job. Now with some dogs, this might take a few days. Other dogs, it might take a few minutes. It really just depends on a variety of factors. Make sure you check out my brand new book. I'm gonna have a link in the description so that you can pick up your copy today. Give Bruno a big thumbs up. He did terrific today. And subscribe to my channel. And set up automatic pet food delivery at petflow.com. I make lots of puppy videos because I know that if we can get dogs on the right path while they're young, then they'll have less issues in the future. Help me continue to educate people about raising the perfect puppy by contributing to my crowdfunding campaign on Patreon. All of the links to everything I've talked about in this video will be in the description. What a fun training session this was. If you have a puppy like Bruno, you probably need help with puppy biting, house training, and introducing the leash to your new puppy. Check out these videos and I'll see you guys in the next episode.